Water levels conducted by the city of West Kelowna back on July 2nd found extremely high levels of E. coli in Okanagan Lake's Galatly Bay. The testing found an E. coli count of 5,900 units per 100 milliliters, almost 30 times more than the recommended amount for safe swimming. Another sample was taken on July 8th that showed an acceptable value of 64 units per 100 milliliters. In a statement to Castanet from Interior Health, they said there are inherent risks to swimming in open water and conditions can change hour to hour, so it is not possible to monitor all beaches in real time. Residents were also concerned about Bear Creek Park's water after some people experienced unusual symptoms. On July 10th, swimmers were informed by staff that the lake could pose a risk of exposure to blue-green algae. The Ministry of Environment conducted water samples of Bear Creek on July 12th and confirmed the results were not concerning. Back on July 2nd, Waterfront Park Beach in Kelowna had high levels of E. coli. IH posted that the recreational area had an E. coli count of 1,732.9. Samples were taken again and have since been deemed acceptable. Pioneer Park Beach in Lake Country has a high E. coli count of 620. That sample was taken on July 9th and has not been redone. Interior Health has also shared that Summerland's Okanagan Lake Provincial Park Beach has a high E. coli count of 1,400, and that sample was taken on July 12th. According to the province, if water containing high amounts of E. coli is ingested, people may experience symptoms like diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea and vomiting. Water samples are said to be taken weekly and are updated on Interior Health's website. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Reeve in Kelowna.